Hey everyone, welcome to Entry 56 of the new Entry series. And I'll tell you what a week it has been so far. Um, this past Wednesday we finished up the fall session of the Awanas at my church. Um, unlike any other Awana group or church related group like that, you know, we don't do the full year. You know, we basically take sessions because we're a smaller church, but we had a we had a fun time. We watched the Prince of Egypt and uh, well, I brought the Prince of Egypt and they saw it and we all saw it together, so that was pretty cool. And the kids had fun. They brought some friends along, so hopefully that's a sign of things to come next year in our spring session. Um, so yeah, and what was ironic about this too is that I brought the, we were watching I brought the Prince of Egypt on the same day that I watched the that I watched the nostalgia critic doing a comparison between it and the Ten Commandments. So that was that was pretty ironic, but it was fun. That was that's pretty ironic, but it was but it was cool overall. But yeah, we had um, we had our uh, final session on Wednesday, so that was fun. Um, oh, there's some kids. Just some kids outside. Uh, but anyway, we had some we had fun and everything and um and then let's see. This pat then uh yesterday yesterday I didn't even know this was coming. Yesterday I ended up getting a video game in the mail from Blockbuster, a PlayStation two the PlayStation two version of NCAA football eleven. And I didn't even know, and I had forgotten totally about the fact that I had ordered it. You see, basically what I was doing is because the people at the Blockbuster here in town had suggested I try this because they're promoting it. And that is to do online uh, mailing, online rentals of games and movies. And I guess the reason they're doing this now is because Netflix is only doing movies and Gamefly is only doing um video game, so I guess Blockbuster, wanting to prove that this is still number one, has decided that they're going to do both. Uh, the only problem is the games that you want to rent online, like for me, I, I, like to, I would like to rent SmackDown vs. Raw 2011. I still have it, and I'm going to have to return it soon so I don't end up buying it. But still, I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one that does that. But... Um, But uh, what happened is that, how, how do I put this, what happened is I went and I got the mail and I looked and I didn't, I had forgotten totally that, I didn't even know, I'd forgotten about it. So I checked online and I finally looked up my account and I remembered, oh yeah, I, I did order something. But the thing was I canceled my subscription because, you know, financially I couldn't afford it right at the time, even if it was a two week trial. And um, I, I know you're saying, well, how can you not financially afford it if it's a two-week trial and it's not that much? Believe me, I have my reasons. I have my reasons, okay? Uh, but anyway, I looked at it. I looked online as to why I got this. And it did say my subscription was canceled. But they still sent it. And I looked online and it said that despite the fact that you may have canceled your subscription they still send you a disc but you have to return it within a month's time or else you get charged so so that that was unexpected but you know I got to play it and everything you know I even got to play some of the games I got from Gamefly's trial Gamefly's two week trial comes up I think next week I believe their email about I'll have to check my email but I'm pretty sure they'll let me know about that and I played Halo Reach. It was okay. You know, did mostly the multiplayer. It was all right. I actually did better than the first time I ever played Halo 3. Um, basically, what happened is that, uh, well, what happened was, right at the end, well, I think I only got one or two kills. And I think one of the kills I got was basically where I got killed, and I threw one of my grenades at somebody, and it blew him up. So, that that was that was fun. But... You know, it was okay, but I did return it. I did mail it back. I did send it back in the mail today, or actually it'll be tomorrow. Because I'm hoping that even though it says low next to it, 
I'm hoping I can get SmackDown vs. Raw 2011 for them from Gamefly, so that way I can have it here for a little bit before I have to return it, so I can return the one I got from Blockbuster. I know it doesn't make sense, but what are you going to do? The only other game I got right now from Gamefly is Modern Warfare 2, which I like. I actually like that game. It's put, That's a pretty fun game. I mean, my nephew, of course, he bought Black Ops over this past weekend, so he even played that, so I was, you know, that's what he did. Um, and then what else? Oh, yeah. Y you would not believe this. But, when, but for the past few months, I think for the past two, three months, I've been looking for my Disney Sports basketball game, right? I couldn't find it anywhere. Couldn't find it. I looked all over the rec room. Well, Wednesday, well, Wednesday afternoon, as I'm putting the Prince of Egypt VHS, pu putting the VHS version of the Prince of Egypt in to rewind it, because that was the one I was taking, and it still works, while I was taking it back to rewind it, well, while I was not to, but while I was rewinding it, I should say, or, or getting ready to, the tape wouldn't go in the VCR. Now I'm thinking, is there another tape in there? What's going on? So I open up the little door, right? And it, and you wouldn't believe this, but inside was my Disney Sports basketball game. I'm not lying. Inside my inside the VCR was the Disney Sports basketball game. And my only conclusion. My only conclusion is that when we had, at one time, during these past three months, during one of the times we had all three grandkids here, my three nephews, I should say, my youngest one, my youngest nephew, must have somehow got a hold of it and put it into the VCR. And you got to realize, you know, young kids, of course, especially that young, are not going to really understand, really know the what... You know, really know what could happen. They don't understand. So that's why I found my Disney Sports basketball game inside the VCR. And it was there this whole time and I didn't even know it. Because I looked all over, like I said, all over the rec room, all over the game room. Nothing. Then I open up the VCR to try to rewind the tape for Wednesday. Tape doesn't go in. I look inside. There's the game. So <laughs> that was fun there too. And, of course, we made cupcakes and everything for the kids to enjoy, so they had fun with that. Uh, overall, not a bad day. Um, I just got a call that my mom recently, you know, got off early today, and she had to go take the truck in to one of the uh, people that she knows that works on cars and trucks to see if uh, she can get whatever the problem is in it fixed, so... That's what's happening right now, and it looks like it's going to rain in a little while. It's supposed to rain this weekend. It's very cold outside, uh, to the point that I had to put the heater on now, just a bit ago. So, overall, besides that, not really much going on. And, uh, you know, I've already created some football teams on NCAA Football 11, so I'll probably do a review of that down the line. So, um, that, that's all I'm going to say. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed this 56th entry in the new entry series. If you got any comments, let me know. Tell me if you've ever experienced anything like I've talked about here. And uh, I'll talk to you all later. Have a good Friday. Have a good weekend.